Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I'm gonna do my January favorites for you and I have to tell you there was a little bit of drama going into the production of this particular video because I wasn't even sure I wanted to make it. I don't have a ton of favorites this month. I feel like I've been focusing so much on my favorites of last year. You know, I did a December favorites and then a makeup favorites of 2016 and then the body skin and face favorites of 2016. I will link all of those. Definitely go check them out. But I really do. I love favorites videos and the stuff I'm going to talk about are not anywhere near the kinds of things that would have made necessarily an annual favorites video. And so we'll just have to see if they measure up over the next 11 months to make it into my next annual favorites. And so plus a favorites video doesn't have to be 10 hours long. And so this one should hopefully be short and sweet. I say that now. I think that's the kiss of death. And I think this this video will be like four hours. So let's get started. I have been loving and using um, a couple of masks by Sephora. Um, they are the rose version of their sheet mask for the face and their lip mask for what else but your lips. Um, rose is an ingredient known for moisturizing and especially right now during this time in the winter uh, where everything like sucks the life out of your skin and your lips and just everything in this entire region. I have to tell you too it's been an interesting adaptation for me coming from Washington State where I was living for so long. The air out there is very humid. The winters are very wet and my husband and I now that we've been in a New York winter the two of us are walking around, we're like, oh my God, my skin is cracking everywhere and I'm so thirsty. We literally need to adapt to the dryness and the coldness of the New York East Coast winter. And so these two masks have been a lifesaver. Um, I stepped up and picked up another one of the Charlotte Tilbury um, lip cheat lip pencils. I had been using Pillow Talk and so instead I got the shade Iconic Nude, which really that is what it is. It's a little bit on the dark side So if you kind of have like a pale nude lip, um, you're gonna rock the 1990s because it will be darker around the outside and perimeter of your lip than the color of your particular pale nude lip color um, But I like it. I think it's a little bit more versatile than Pillow Talk um, a little bit more universal. Pillow Talk, even though it's pink, is also pretty deep. It's a pretty deep pink um, and also doesn't necessarily blend 100% um, well underneath very, very neutral, nude, pale lip shades. But I definitely wanted to try more of a browner shade um, and that's exactly what um, Iconic Nude is. I also treated myself to um, a couple birthday presents this past month. I did, if anyone is curious, I did in fact turn 39 at the beginning of the year, which kind of sucks, I have to tell you, because everybody is so tired from celebrating Christmas and the New Year's. My birthday's only a couple days after that. Society in general isn't really interested in celebrating my birthday, and so I did this year. And so I picked up two more of the Lorac Alter Ego super high pigment lipsticks um, in two different shades. I got Secret Agent, which is actually what I'm wearing now. It's a gorgeous brown, but it's got like a purple, a purple kind of undertone, like a purple brick red sort of undertone. I like it, it's really dark. <laughs> Ironically so, it does remind me also of the 1990s where that kind of dark brownish reddish phase was going on. I liked it. I think it kind of complements my skin tone kind of nicely. Um, and so I don't really care that it's 2017. I want to go back to the 90s. I also got the shade Duchess, which is a really pretty kind of mauve pink. Hello, big surprise, mauve pink. I now think I own like five of these and they're about half the price of the NARS Audacious lipsticks. I might be liking them even better because they are my go-to long wearing lipstick um, because they're like a creamy matte but they have even more staying power than some other lipsticks that call themselves a creamy matte and so um, I just really keep reaching when I know I'm going to be doing something like going to work or whatever for a long period of time it's the lipstick that I least have to reapply and even check on like it winds up looking good and lasting for a very long period of time and part of my job involves that I talk to a lot of people and so even all of that talking and then drinking that I do along with that you know to stay like lubricated um it's still the lipstick still winds up staying on really really good and so I definitely did I need any more Lorac Alter Ego lipsticks do I need any more lipsticks no did I want them yes 
So I just filmed and posted a chatty get ready with me, which by the way, thank you for all of the feedback on all of the random and various things that I was talking about in that video. By the way, I have decided I'm going to go back to highlights. I have been researching um, stylists in my area. I found a very highly regarded um, studio and so I'm going to make an appointment with them tomorrow. They were not open today, but I tried. Um, so I will definitely be, I miss my highlights. I think you all are right that I, I enjoyed when I was lighter and since I was born this way I'm going to venture out and go back a little bit more to this way <laughs> we'll see how it turns out no judgments okay I'm going in cold I hope that I hope that it turns out okay so anyway thank you for that in that video I wound up using some new elf products that I had just recently bought and I want to call out one of the products that I used in that video I will link it definitely go check it out um, this is the elf I'm not gonna hold up the outside because it's like a pure mirror and it will blind you but it is the beautifully bare total face palette and that's really what it is it's got a highlighter it's got a bronzer and then it's got two blushes like a pinky one and kind of a peachy one the shade i just i this pleasantly surprised me i couldn't believe that the shadows were really creamy those are the blushes they're not overpowering they just add a nice just kind of subtle just kind of glow to your cheeks which i'm not like i said before I've, i'm not a very big blush fan i don't i don't like to be like rosy cheeked or anything but this palette the powders are just really creamy they blended really nicely they lasted long enough um i wasn't like crying because i felt like they had come off my face too fast i enjoy the highlighter it's very subtle i'm not sure here's the bronzer and here's the highlighter um it's very subtle but it's got enough of a shimmer hint to it so that it will add a nice glow to your cheeks it's just oh my gosh that's why they call it beautifully bare i just got that right here live <laughs> what am i like how could i not have realized that it's beautifully bare they're subtle and they're not overpowering and they blend very nicely and the whole palette was only like, I forget, six or eight dollars. And so it was definitely a very nice surprise for me. The foundation that I used in that video too, I have also been loving, although I did switch up the color. I'm wearing the new color today. I, I mentioned in the video that I wasn't sure if the shade itself was too light. I kind of felt like it was. This one, I'm feeling, it's like a little bit more me. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Total Coverage foundation um totally reminds me of the maybelline dream matte velvet hydrating foundation i think i mix up those words but um totally reminds me of that it's a very moussey textured foundation it covers very nicely but feels very comfortable on the skin so you don't you don't feel like you're wearing a mask um, of foundation and so i like that and with the moussey texture i feel like that also makes it kind of light enough so that your skin can kind of breathe. Um, I haven't been breaking out from it. I have been using it a number of days in a row. I feel like it deals with my oil enough, but I also feel like with the dryness I've got going on as well, like I was talking about before in the winter, I feel like it's dealing with that also very nicely. So all in all, it's kind of like a complete package sort of foundation and i was very very excited about that the last thing that i want to mention is another elf product that i didn't demonstrate in that get ready with me but i've really been liking because i've tried a number of other products this was new to me i don't know how long it's been out but it was definitely new to my target and i'm at target like every other day of the week and apparently so were you guys after my <laughs> chatty get ready with me conversation about me and target and returns and shopping so i picked up the elf hydrating gel melt cleanser comes in a really pretty kind of crystallized mint sea green sort of jar um so this is basically it's similar to a cleansing balm now i had tried the one by clinique which i think they actually call a cleansing balm that comes in kind of the lilac lavender purple jar and that really is more of a more of a balm it has some whiteness to it um, and it's greasy and you put it on and it cuts your makeup and then I'll you, I would wipe it off with a makeup remover wipe just to kind of get the oiliness off and I know that that's not how you're supposed to use it I know you're supposed to apply water to activate the oil and then rub it off I don't have time for that 
I use the, the cleansing balm to cut the oil and then I just very easily wipe it away with a makeup remover wipe versus like a baby wipe. I don't want to use a baby wipe. I want to use something friendly on my skin and I don't want to use a towel or water because then you get the water that like drips down your arm, um, which is now pigmented with a little hint of your foundation. I mean, that's gross. I hate that. It's gross. So cleansing balm by Clinique, very expensive. Um, this one by e.l.f. was 10 bucks. Now, it's a little bit different because it reminds me a little bit more, it's a little bit more like a Vaseline. It's pretty clear, and it's definitely like emollient. Is that the right word? It's got like an, like an oiliness to it. But honestly, I was using a cleansing oil before, so this is, to me, oil in a solidified state and i do the same thing i apply it all over my face it cuts the cuts the makeup and makes it ready for removal i use a makeup remover wipe just a generic one actually the one by kirkland which i live for and i just use it to gently wipe away and then i go in with my my cellar my simple my cellar cleansing wipes to do like a final wipe down to make sure that there's absolutely no pigment left on my face all of them gentle all of them friendly all of them not requiring water and by the end when i'm done my face is clean it feels hydrated because i haven't stripped away my skin's natural oils and like i said i'm clean and so for ten dollars versus like thirty dollars like i said it's a little bit different it hasn't been breaking me out because it and i mentioned that because of the fact that it's kind of like oily in nature um, but it hasn't been breaking me out and I can tell you that if it's not breaking me out It is extremely less likely that it's going to break you out as well Just because I I have I do have sensitive skin that breaks out quite frequently And so for a third of the price for something that just is removing my makeup and making my skin happy I'm like, how can I not talk about that? So the last thing I want to talk about um, is a tool which is ironic because I just talked about the Babyliss Pro um, straightening iron the titanium straightening iron in my last month's favorites I think that was December well since then I have finally finally caved and bought something that I had been eyeing forever I got uh, it's almost like a little bit as seen on TV I think I actually found it on Facebook it was one of those like sponsored ads I got the volume do you guys know what this is it looks like it's a waffle maker on the inside it's got like crisscross it's little squares and they're alternating so that when you press the plate together it actually looks like teeth <laughs> and so what this does is actually just add volume now my hair is flat flat to my head and what this does for me is actually just make my hair not flat it doesn't make it like bufanti in fact i've got it on right i've I've used it today right now I've got no product at my roots no product in my hair um, except a little hairspray to spray down the fuzzies and flyaways but I didn't need to tease I didn't need to spray no hot rollers it just works super super fast you literally take your hair at the root and you just you don't have to use the sound effect when you do that but you're literally just and that's it and it's I got the petite one because it's a little bit narrower the original size is white and it's quite a bit wider but because my hair is fine and I don't have a lot of it I didn't need the volume to come all the way down the side of the shaft of you know the length of the sh of my hair otherwise like I'd have like hair that came out to here um, if you want a tutorial on how I use this because honestly they're really there is a, quite a bit more to say about it and it does have some tips and tricks and things you need to know. You shouldn't just like go in and use it because P.S. that's what I did and I was like, this thing sucks. It's making me look awful until I read the instruction manual and found out um, the different techniques to actually make it really, really work. I use it every day. It's, it's a hot tool, but it they say that it's friendlier than teasing like your under roots and then spraying your under your underneath your roots and stuff um this is literally just a quick shot like a blip of heat it's not even like a curling iron where you got to hold it on it's fascinating it's fascinating now p.s i did contact the company i was like i have a youtube channel i would love i was so intrigued with the product i would love to um 
review your product for you. I had heard and seen that they were sending them out as, um, as promo, you know, as PR for people to be reviewing for their channels. They did not answer me at all. Um, so as such, I decided to purchase it on Amazon. So that way they would have to pay Amazon the middleman selling fee and they did not get to keep the entire 100% of the profit, but that's petty. I know <laughs> far be it from me to be stubborn and cut my nose off to spite my face. Is that how you say that cliche? Um, I didn't want to not talk about it simply because they didn't want to give me a hundred dollar freebie product. Um, I wanted to share with you that it was a little bit of a game changer for me. And so anyway, that is my personal story and slight resentment about Volum. But you know what? Honestly, I'm not going to hold a grudge because they happen to make a pretty cool and funky product if you know how to use it all right that's what i've got for my january favorites i have been vlogging today which i haven't done in a really long time and so i'm giving it a shot again and a number of you asked to um see me vlog again and i was like you know what i haven't done that in a while so definitely stay tuned for that um going along with the fact that i talked about l'oreal and that foundation in this video i also picked up some really cool l'oreal products that were new at the drugstore i'm going to do a quick kind of review um on those products as well so t stay tuned for that thank you again so much for spending this time with me find me on twitter instagram and snapchat if you have a minute please subscribe before you go and if you like this video and want to see more like it definitely give it a thumbs up so that other people will take the time to watch my video that's what that like is for so i appreciate your support your feedback and i really feel like i'm making friends here and so that's definitely been a joy to me every single day i hope you have a really good rest of the day a great rest of the week and in the meantime thanks